Hello my quilty friends! Welcome back to my farmhouse sewing room and quilting studio. I'm Marne and today I have a great quilt to show you that is mine. So um, this quilt behind me is a free pattern and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it and how I did it and how easy it is and you can do it in any color that you would like. Um, so this pattern is called So In Love, and this is a free pattern by Riley Blake Designs. You can find this on RileyBlake.com um, and print it off, and it's a one-sheeter, so all of your directions are on the back. This is an awesome quilt, and you can see on the picture here, they've done it like in a pink and hues of purple, like a pink and purple, I don't know. You, this would be a great jelly roll quilt or um, you can mix up some of your fabrics. So what I did with mine is I had this ombre fabric and, and it has like this metallic little flowers and dark blue and some light blue shadowing, but it just kind of ombre effects to the dark, to the light back into the dark. And then of course I used a white background and my center squares for all of my fabrics, I had this um, blue fabric that has like these white daisy designs in it so it kind of went with the ombre fabric i used two different fabrics but this is where you can really get fun with this i love the ombre look on this because i thought this would be really cool to kind of have the lights and the darks and i'm not a fan of white <laughs> although i did use white on this because i just thought that it fit it because there was a lot of you know the color going on with the blues and the white just kind of set it off so um I made this quilt at retreat last year. It was the first retreat I'd ever went to. It was in Ulysses, PA. And um, I did this quilt, but I didn't finish it up until just recently that I finally finish um, getting a back for it and getting it quilted and getting it binded. And I really didn't know if I was so in love with this, this quilt right away because it just didn't really strike me but I'm in love with it now. I am so in love with it because after I quilted this, I put the Daisy Days pattern on this. And the Daisy Days pattern is this big flower on here that really stands out on a quilt. So this, this pattern really made this quilt come to life because it matched all the little flowers in the background and in the centers. And I used a navy blue thread for this because that dark thread brought out all of the dark blues in the quilt and it set off the pattern for this. So it really makes it so in love, you know. So this quilt uh, I'm giving to a special friend of mine. Her name is Marlene. And Marlene, you know I've adopted you. And I wanted to show this quilt off before I gave it to her. Um, I think Marlene uh, is a good fit for this quilt. She loves blue. And I just love her. So um, anyway, the back. Let me tell you a little bit about the back. I got this back <laughs> at Sheet So Creative. If you haven't heard about Sheet So Creative, please check them out online at sheetsocreative.com. This was a 108 wide back um, pant or fabric that I gotten for this. And it just has that ombre effect in it too with the lights and the darks that so went with this quilt. This quilt just kind of really came together for me. I really didn't plan, you know, the back. I just went to her shop and I found this and I was like, this is what I want. It's perfect. It's perfect color. I even actually took my quilt top to her shop too, just to kind of match it up. So the leftover fabric that I had I used for a binding all the way around this quilt. And this quilt measures 64 by 64. And I'm just gonna double check, yep, 64 by 64. So I'm telling you, this is so easy to make and it's just so beautiful. So these blocks here in the centers that I cut, these were all four and a half inch blocks. And then all of the strips that I put around these blocks are two and a half inch. So you did a two and a half inch, uh, four and a half here to match the light. And then, of course, you went with your blue, and then you went with the white, the blue, the white, and then the darker blue I put on the outside. So I kind of really matchy-matchied everything up so it would all kind of come together with this ombre effect of the lights and the darks together. But you really could play with it and make it any way you want. Um, the finished blocks do measure 16 inches square when you get your blocks done. So when you get your blocks done, you can kind of position them together. So I think there's one, two, yeah, four. Four blocks across and four blocks down so it makes a really nice size quilt this is a beauty so i'm hoping that you'll check this out on rileyblake.com the sew in love really simple fun fun quilt to make the block is almost it reminds me of like the courthouse steps i don't know if any of you i'm sure most of you have heard about all that i mean but it's just really super fun 
relaxing. There's no technicality, you know, kind of stuff to this. It's just a really relaxing and fun quilt to sew together. So I do hope you try it. So um, if you enjoy this little video of my Sew in Love quilt, please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video coming up. I have some great things to show you, and I also have an upcoming giveaway to uh, tell you about. The quilt is ready that I'm going to give away. It's super fun, and I would love to show it all to you very, very soon. So um, I will chat at you later. Have a great day. Hey, I have one more quick note for you. Um, if you enjoy this quilt and you really like the pattern, um, you can mail your quilt top here to us at Country Farmhouse Quilting, or you can email us at countryfarmhousequilting at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you, and I would love to quilt your Sew in Love quilt for you if you really love this pattern. Um, just uh, drop us a line and let us know, okay? Mwah.